how could you help somebody to have a problem with fucking boxer briefs? And I realized, damn, sometimes my boxer briefs be fucked up too. I really enjoy this shit, man. My name is Kevin Gates, and this is my best friend, OG Booby Black. We're gonna be taking calls from people all over the world, and whatever issues that they may be having, we're gonna be giving them some help, some good advice. Some good help. So stay tuned. The Talamasca gonna come get me. You know, that's the FBI branch there. They investigate people with supernatural powers. They think I'm this vampire or some shit. Drink, don't laugh at me, I can feel your soul. I love you. I couldn't do it without you. You want me to take them off? They don't work on camera. Fuck it. They gotta go. Say, boo, babe, who we got on the line? Oh, we got Tyler from New Jersey, you heard me? Let him step in the castle. All right, T, what's happening? You on the phone with me? Hey, what's up? Yeah, so I've been dating this guy for about a month and a half now, and um, just to be clear, um, his private area is uncircumcised, which is fine with me. I don't judge. However, I've noticed during the course of our relationship that it would kind of have sort of a disturbingly fishy smell, and I don't know how to navigate and tell this person that I don't want to give him, I guess, a blowjob. What you smelling is not a fishy smell. That's a buildup of bacteria behind the foreskin. And most people don't know it's very hard to clean that part. That's why circumcision is important because it's for health reasons. Yes, yeah, necessary. So he really could give you, what do you call a, um infection, really, by you having intercourse with this person. And I just feel like you ought to talk to him but I think instead of you just talking to him, you should back it up. You know, look up some type of articles and show him. What I see with my eyes, my heart must believe. <laughs> you know, y'all talk about it or, or you just don't do it? You don't, you don't give him head at all? Well, in the beginning, you know, I did because I didn't notice it. And yeah. um, I've just noticed during the course of our relationship. Or you could also, yeah. or you could always clean it for him. Yeah. All you gotta do is pull it. Pull a foreskin back and use some peroxide and clean it for him. But she said she, okay. she, she said she, he showers and when he showers he, he come back and he's still. He's not pulling the skin back. Yeah, you gotta tell him to right. pull the skin back, love. Yeah, you know you gotta think. I got circumcised late, so I know I used to make the turtle come out the shell and <laughs> put the, you know the lit. Wee, look at me, you know. Yeah. Protecting yourself and protecting your energy is not a crime. You wanna be walking around smelling like the ocean? Yeah. Fishes everywhere. You 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 care about yourself, <laughs> you know, and that's the good thing about it. I will definitely, I will definitely run that by him. Hope y'all have a nice conversation, and I hope y'all relationship get better, and I hope the smell goes away. <laughs> me too. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> For your sake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Um, thank enjoy you. the rest of your day. Oh, you, I was about to die laughing. You talking about fishes everywhere? <laughs> you heard me? <laughs> It's all sacred. Even laughter is sacred. Yes, indeed. So, you know, we not laughing at you, we laughing with you. You know what I'm saying? I done been in that situation also before. You just gotta pull it back and clean that motherfucker. He only got one on. He could he could talk on the phone, roll a blunt, and drive with his knee. Say boo way. Say boo way. Say, boo, boo, who we got on the line? Man, we got Clyde from Florida, you heard me? You want me to hit him in? Yeah, run him through the pipeline. What up, Clyde? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and Booby Black. Wow. Hey, what's up, guys? So basically, I sell bud kind of for a living. I make enough to do whatever I want to do. But I started dating this new chick, and I haven't really told her my, you know, how I make my main source of income. I'm just trying to figure out how to bring that up, how to, how to tell her about it, how to even bring that up in conversation. How long y'all been in a relationship together? It's pretty fresh, under two months. All I can say in this situation is this, never make a permanent decision in a temporary setting. 
that may not be some news that she can handle right now. Would that person still be solid enough to retain that information on Mad Day? You know, hurt people hurt people. So sometimes when somebody hurt, they could use whatever they can or whatever they know how to use against you to hurt you. She's like a career woman. I don't know if she would be like, oh, well, I can't. I don't want to be associated with something like this. Yeah, being guilty by association, that's, that's serious. Because yeah. if, if shit hit the fan, she'll be like, you lied to me. And, you know, honesty yeah. is the best policy. But I feel like it's a way to tell her without telling her. Baby, we need to talk. Look, you know, I'm in the mob. So she can't use yeah. anything. Yeah, so she can't use nothing against you on Mad Day. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. All right, Good big advice. man. The decisions that we make affect others, right. not just ourselves. Right. So How he, was we able to save him though? Because he's on a he's on a he's he's going on a hell of a road, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, I'm not trying to save him. I mean the decision is his to make. Right. But I would let her know that baby, listen, I'm I'm living illegitimately right now. Mm -hmm. I'm living illegitimately. She might work for the police or anything. He don't know what's going on with that woman, man. Who we got on the line? Oh, we got Miles on the line. Clifford departure. What up, Miles? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and Boobie. Wow, what's happening with your Miles? Hey, how's it going, guys? So, I have a lot of problems finding comfortable underwear. I'm a totally normal size guy. There's nothing unusual going on in my underwear area. What part is uncomfortable? Is it the waist or the part that go around your legs? So it's, it's always different. It causes sort of like a fundamental well-being issue. I got another question. What kind of underwear do you wear? Uh, boxer brief, generally. Yeah, I, I'm a boxer brief man myself. Yeah, me too. Can you recommend the brand? No, I can't recommend the brand, but uh, I have my own line of boxer briefs and they're very comfortable. Wait, you have your own line of boxer briefs? That's what I'm saying. When you said about boxer briefs, I had one of the biggest problems on finding the perfect box of briefs until I made my own. Okay, well maybe I'll make my own when I become a very successful rapper too. I got a suggestion. Why don't you just not wear underwear? You could be free, free balling. Yeah. That's something I've thought about too, but I don't know, like, have you ever, have you ever done that with jeans? No, I can't do it with jeans, but I got some little shorts that I wear. And sometimes I don't wear any underwear because underwear are restrictive in nature. And you know, we don't just breathe uh -huh. through our cavities and our face. We breathe through every pore in our body. So that's where you're just... Yeah, you breathe. There. Yeah, you breathe through your genitals, everything. Yeah, maybe I'm too rigid. Yeah, but I'm saying who made the rule book? Who said that you had to wear underwear? No one no one said that I have to wear underwear. All right, thank you guys for all your help. All right, thank you too. That was a good answer that you gave I like me. That. I never thought about like I never thought of it like that, like not wearing no boxes. Sometimes I, I you know, I skipped a loop. Then I then I sag my pants. Right. So I gotta have on some right. type of box of briefs to give me that support. Yeah. And then a lot of people don't know when I was sagging my pants, it wasn't really just to sag my pants. I wear my belt down over the elephant trunk to just keep that bitch down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't wanna scare nobody, you heard me. <laughs> Out of all people that we talk to, I really feel I really feel that we we help each person in some type of way. But the most heaviest one was, oh man, my girl. Oh, the one with the pulling yeah, that pulling the elephant trunk yeah, back, that skin. Yeah, yes indeed. Yeah. Man. Hopefully we'll talk to them again in the future though. Yeah. Get a progress report on them. Right. Report card. What you was doing? Did you go back and what you, you know, you listen to us? I'm Kevin Gates and this is OG Booby Black and you were just watching the Kevin Gates helpline. If you need help with any of your issues, follow the details below. And let me leave you with this. Most of the most complex situations in life have simple solutions. I like that one. Bitch, play with me. I'm a dope celebrity. <laughs>Help somebody with boxing briefs. I thought about it. I realized you can either wear them motherfuckers or don't.